and welcome to Spa-Francorchamps, the home of the Belgian Grand Prix and this weekend the home of the sixth round of the 2014 Euro Formula Open. The teams of drivers have been on summer break since Silverstone in mid-July but the title battle is going to pick up with some intensity this weekend. A double win at Silverstone has given Sandy Stuvik the championship lead and I'm sure that Alex Parlo and Artur Janos will be snapping at his heels. But before we get into this weekend's action, let's relive Stuvik's triumphs from a couple of weeks ago. Last match at Silverstone, it was Sandy Stuvik who was in dominant form, the tyre driver leading the way throughout the weekend. The first race had plenty of thrills and spills, as Nicholas Pola was torpedoed out of the action early on. Some super dicing behind between Konstantin Tereshenko and Artur Janos. Russian driver trying to get ahead of Polish Janos. Janos looking to stay in touch with Sandy Stuvik in terms of the championship, looking to try and ease further clear from the tie driver after his excellent weekend at the Hungaro ring. Well, as Janos eased past Tereshenko, the next battle was between Simonian and Tereshenko and ended in tears with Simonian being rotated by his compatriot. Tereshenko was in the thick of the action because he soon found himself in the company of Campos Racing teammate Sean Walkinshaw. This Walkinshaw's home race wasn't going entirely according to plan. Out front though, Sandy Stuvik utterly dominated proceedings and he came through to score the first victory of the weekend. Second place, albeit somewhat distantly, went the way of Alex Parlo. It was Yaren Sturd who returned to the rostrum with a fine third after a good scrap with Yukanamaru. So halfway through the weekend, very much advantage Stuvik. Race two was a much closer affair. Alex Parlo taking the challenge to Sandy Stuvik, but off the line it was Yarin Stern, the Israeli, who took the early advantage. However, by the time they worked through club on the first lap, Stuvik was through. Parlo in fairly short order, and then Stern was busy defending from the Japanese Kanemaru, the pair of them immediately reigniting their scrap from Saturday. Behind, Sean Walkinshaw, Waifun Thong, and several others had a wayward moment at Cops which cost Waif and Thong the chance to challenge further. Also in the wars was Saud Al Faisal. That hop over the kerb, rewarded with a quick spin, heading out of the loop. Same problem for Sean Walkinshaw as he tried to recover ground. He rotates away his chances. It's all got a little bit too close for comfort for John Simonian heading into Stowe. Simonian once more demonstrating his absolutely fantastic pace as he sought to climb up through the order. Well, Stuvik never ran away from Alex Parlo, but the race was decided by that momentary slip from the Spaniard heading into Stowe. Campos driver losing the opportunity to challenge Stuvik in the final stages. Therefore, it was the second double of the season for Sandy Stuvik to the light of the RP Motorsport team as Stuvik reclaimed the championship lead. Parlo was second once more and Yaren Stern completed the podium. So BVM Racing's Christopher Herr and Chris, Spa a magnificent circuit to race at. Yeah, it's true. It's just a lovely circuit, a lot of fast corners, uh, sweeping, very, very high speeds, just great. And what's the, the most challenging corner? Whoa, it's hard to say. I guess it's called the double gauge. You see, you see fast left-hander downhill. It's like going into the into the corner with over 200 k's, and the car gets light. It's really, really lovely. And you joined BVM mid-season, and it's been going very well for you. Yeah, okay, it's a bit uh, not not that well as I'm expected to be honest. Had we had a very hard week at the Spa, we couldn't finish one race because of tire problems and a little contact. Even in, in, Hung in Hungary, it was not that good as I expected, but now it's getting a bit better and I hope that we can continue like this. Uh, maybe a few podiums between now and the end of the season. Yeah, this would be the perfect target, yeah. <laughs> Race 
race one of the Spa weekend saw Alex Parley getting the jump on Pulsar to Sandy Stuvik as the field turned through La Source for the first time. Behind, as ever, there was contact away from Thong, Tanasaki and Thiracle amongst the early casualties. Down the Kemmel straight for the first time and Sandy Stuvik claimed the lead back from Parlo in the slipstream before both of them ran wide over the bumps but managed to hold position. Parlo soon repassed the championship leader Stuvik but the tyre drive was on his tail, making an audacious move around the outside of the bus stop chicane to once more reclaim the advantage. So we moved into the middle phase of the race. The rain came down, making the surface very slippery as the drivers still had to struggle on using slick tyres. It was an advantage for some, though, to take advantage. The lowly grid position in particular, Alex Torrell and Yukanamaru amongst those climbing through the field. Which certainly didn't delay the battle at the front of the pack as Paolo and Stuvik continued to race wheel to wheel. This the decisive move of the race as Santi Stuvik eventually able to use the slipstream to ease clear of the Spaniel Alex Paolo. Both of them absolutely on the limits of adhesion in very, very tricky conditions. So it was another win for Sandy Stuvik, further building his advantage at the top of the championship standings. Delight for the tyre driver, one of his finest performances of the year to date. Second place going away of Parlo, another trip to the podium, but continuing to lose ground to Stuvik. And third place going to John Simonian. conditions were really tricky uh, with first uh, around sector three getting wet first and then towards the end it uh, changed to sector one I think the cloud moved over here so that was when sector three was starting to dry up so there was always half the track was wet so while well, I was always on the radio with the team we weren't sure if we were gonna swap to wets or not but we decided to stay out and uh, really happy with the result Every race he surprises me, he's always, he's always there, always very consistent and he's a very clean racer so uh, it's really a joy to, to race with Alex. Alex isn't making it easy and uh, Arthur will definitely be there in the races to come so I think it'll go all the way down to the wire. Race two, and it was the Guatemalan driver Andres Saravia who got the jump on RP Motorsport teammate Sandy Stuvik as the field surged into La Source. Amazingly, everybody was cleaning through, but that clean run only lasted until they come when Saravia overcooked it, having been swarmed in the slipstream, and then promoted Konstantin Tereshenko to take the challenge to the championship leader Stuvik. As Tereshenko's Campos Racing teammate, Alex Parlo, tried to climb up through the field after a disappointing qualifying run. Behind William Barbosa and Tanat Safi and Thiracle had a fairly brief race. Tereshenko's race was then foreshortened after an audacious manoeuvre from Chris Hoa, resulting in the Austrian driver taking the Russian, and Tereshenko having to take an early bath. As ever at Spa, there was some great racing to be found through the pack as Chewan Lim, Nicholas Pola, and Salau Faisal did battle. Also in a feisty move was way for Thong as he looked to pick his way up through the order. Some brave overtaking manoeuvres as the drivers adapted to the challenge of the Spa circuit. Fortunately for Sean Walkinshaw and way from Thong got a little bit too intense and the Hong Kong driver tipped into a spin. Out front however Stuvik was utterly imperious as he came through to score his second double in a row, firmly consolidating his championship lead. Behind it was RP teammate Artur Janos, who came through into second place after entertaining scrap with Yukanamaru. In terms of the championship though, Stuvik is now in pole position with just four races to go. I enjoy being here and every race I push my hardest to be in this position and I'm just so happy that all the work we do in the team, especially my mechanics, uh, 
they they put so much effort into this so I'm really happy to deliver a, res a result like this for them it looked a little bit easier today after the uh, the start uh, good gap uh, so everything under control yeah that was the main aim that uh, I don't lead out of La Source. Well, that was what I was trying to do. And then uh, I could get the toe onto the Camel straight and from then hopefully open up a gap in sector two because I was quite strong there the, the whole weekend. So I knew if I could get into sector two first, uh, I could probably make a gap and it worked perfectly to plan. So a dominant weekend for Sandy Stuvik in the Euro Formula Open. Two wins and he extends his championship lead. With four races to go, Artur Janos and Alex Palo are still in the mix, but it will take remarkable misfortune in Monza if Stuvik is to be denied in 2014. We'll see you there.